Hi there, in this video we're going to be taking a look at setting up some overnight routines and I have gone into the Mystic directory and I've created a new INI file for this video called MaintInI, M-A-I-N-T, short for maintenance. And I want to just take you through what that file looks like now. So I've cleared out a number of the settings but this particular one is going to be working on purging the message bases, so removing messages that have expired either by age or by the maximum number of messages allowed in that particular message base. Then once it's purged those messages it's going to pack and renumber the remaining messages in the bases. Then it's going to do a, a function that merges node lists such as FSXNet or maybe FidoNet or another net into a Mystic format and there's a, an option within Mystic bulletin board that allows you to look up people uh, on their node list um, addresses, so uh, a bit like a telephone um, book if you will. It's also going to do a pack and check of the file bases and just check the integrity of the files and perform what's known as echo mail reply linking, which is just a good housekeeping routine. So in the any file itself we have the same general setup except you'll see I've got these functions enabled, so purge message bases, pack message bases, merge node lists, pack file bases, link messages, they're all set to true. Then the same logging as before applies. Now it's pretty easy in some respects because you can see for the purge message bases stanza there's absolutely no options. It's either on or off, so we've just set true and it's going to, to work. Pack message bases is the same, no options at all for this function. The merge node lists um, option is uh, with a fair bit of commentary there, but the, the guts of it's down the bottom. And the key thing here is that you have to specify for each node list that you want Mystic to ingest a node file statement. And in this case I'm saying that the node list that we want to ingest into Mystic for this telephone directory lookup service is uh, in this path, Mystic files fsx underscore node and then the actual name of the node list is fsxnet. Now if I just jump into the directory and show you that, so we're under the mystic directory here, we go into files, fsx underscore node, and you can see there's the uh, node list file that we imported when we ran the uh, mail in process and it uh, had a tick file and it tossed it into this file base. Now that's a zipped up file inside there, if I just unzip it to show you, you have a uh, equivalent text file, which if I open up and show you what that looks like, hopefully that's going to work for me in a second. Uh, nope, it's having a headache, but believe me it, when I say to you there's a whole bunch of um, uh, note list entries in there. So, that's the um, process that's going to run when we uh, merge the note lists. There's a couple of settings here. One allows you to strip out uh, any nodes that are marked as down, so these are nodes that are, according to the, the person compiling, compiling the, the node list are uh, not actually uh, active at the moment. So that's saying yes, get rid of those. Another option is to strip out nodes that are marked as private. And private nodes are usually ones that can't be uh, contacted directly. They have to connect to a hub in order to get their Netmail, Echomail and so forth. Now there are a number of um, nodes that um, are private in various networks. I personally like to set that to false because I think it's good to be able to see them and be able to send them messages even if it's via a hub and not directly. The next function is about packing the file bases and here there's a couple of options. One is um, if it's set to true, which it is, then Mutual will check to make sure the files actually exist in the file bases and it's going to update the file listing or the file size in the listing and it will optionally remove any files that are deemed to be missing. So, um, And that's where this next setting is set. So if this is true, it's going to remove any files which do not exist from the file list database when it's checking the integrity. Otherwise they'll be flagged as offline in the file listing. And the last um, option is link messages, and again you'll see there's absolutely no um, options, at least with this function I should call it. Um, so that's, that's an easy one as well. So really there's little to set here other than really um, defining where your node lists are. And um, yeah, there we go. So let's uh, have a look and see how this all comes together. I've um, fired up a copy of the command prompt. And I actually just did a Fido poll before to see if we had any 
messages, but I'll do it again now. We'll just run through the process of checking for Echo Mail and Netmail. So we'll Fido Poll the hub. hub. There's nothing there at the moment, but I know if I run Mutil Mail in, it will toss a whole bunch of messages. In fact, there's 101 of them there, so that's pretty cool. Um, now let's run the Mutil Maint process and watch what happens there. Right, so you can see that it's gone through and purged no messages. It's packed no messages um, because uh, obviously nothing was purged. It's linked 53 messages as part of its linking process. It's merged one of one node lists and it's done a pack job on the file basis as well. If we go into the um, uh, the logging side of things, so I just need to get to where I want to be, logs, mutil, you can see there's originally where we were importing all of those messages that I pulled down from the hub earlier, and there's a lot of that, and then here is the process of packing, oh sorry, purging the message bases, so it's just showing you what it's doing, in this case it's looking to purge anything that's over 365 days by age, or in this case, over 500 messages. So you can see those settings are being applied message base by message base. Then it's packing the bases according to what it needs to do, in this case nothing. Then it's uh, linking the messages, and it's linking 53 of them, which is a good thing. And then here it is merging the node list, so it's found um, the FSX uh, node list file and then it's uh, extracted the uh, data and put it into its um, internal database and I'll show you how that works in a second. Now, uh, and then it's done a pack on the file bases. Now if you have a number of node list files in your file base and you're asking Mystic to merge the node list, it will actually go through and look at every single version of the node list for say FSXNet and will only find, uh, only take the most recent one and then suck that into Mystic. So it's quite clever like that. So if your file base slowly fills up with node lists over um, the, the course of weeks and months, don't panic. Uh, Mystic will just use the most recent one when it goes looking for it. So if we go in and log into the bulletin board, which I happen to have done somewhere here, or at least I thought I had. Let me run that now. So we'll log in as red72 and get into the system. Go into the message area. Um, one of the options on this screen is option B, node list browser. And when you press that, it comes up with this screen that says um, do a search. Now you could search by name, so if I wanted to search by my name, which is um, surname is Hayton, H-A-Y-T-O-N, press enter, and you can see it's instantly come up with a number of entries for me in the FSX note list. You can also see uh, that there are options of just doing wildcard searches. So if I wanted to say show me everything in zone 21, it uh, doesn't matter which net, and it doesn't matter which node number, then here we are, showing me all the bulletin board systems that are connected to FSXNet, showing me the system name, whereabouts they are, and who the operator is. And at the time of uh, doing this, there were uh, 35. And you can see the, uh, the default system address at the bottom there. So, that's how you run maintenance, and you can set that up to run on a nightly basis as part of an event system. And it's that event system and a bit of a walkthrough of the Mystic Internet Server, which I will just briefly show you here, that looks like this, that will be the subject of our next video. Thanks for watching.